in this video we are going to discuss time reversal property of jet transform you can see the property if x of n jet transform is x of z if x of n is a discrete time sequence so the jet transform for that discrete time sequence is x of z then time reversal property states that if you reverse your time discrete time x of minus n for example x of n is a right sided sequence if you shift it to left side completely left side if you are considering image format what is the jet transform of that image version of x of n so that means what is the jet transform of x of minus n means so that is equal to x of z inverse so now i am going to prove this property and after that i am going to consider some examples in this claim uh, so here i am going for proof so in considering proof i am going to consider i am going to uh, consider the jet transform equation so jet transform of x of n to calculate jet transform of the discrete sequence x of n we are going to use the formula summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n this is the formula to calculate jet transform of x of n but what we need to prove we need to prove the jet transform of x of minus n is equal to so x of z inverse so here i am considering x of minus n as my signal when i consider my signal as x of minus n i need to replace the signal here so here the equation will change like this x of minus n into z power minus n here i am writing like this n is equal to minus infinity to infinity so i want some considerations here so see here here i am going to consider like uh, let minus n is equal to p minus n is equal to p and here when n minus n is equal to p i can consider minus n is equal to minus p here limits are also going to change like this if n is equal to minus infinity p is also equal to infinity and if n is equal to infinity and here also you are going to get infinity so here the equation changes like this you can consider n or p here as n and p are equal there is no other factor so x of p x of p z power so in case of n you can consider p that means plus p you can consider so here i am taking like this summation p is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of p so here z inverse whole power minus p i am considering like this if you want to replace n again with this p so now you can say this is in the form of z transform equation so you just imagine so there is n in 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 the place of p then what you are going to get summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n for example if you are having z power minus n then you can write x of z but here z inverse whole power minus n so you can say this is equal to x of z inverse so whatever we are having in place of z that you need to write down in the form of transform so this is equal to x of z inverse so now i am going to consider some formulas that means where we can apply this property for example anyone given you like this what is the transform of 2 power n u of minus n what is the transform of 2 power n u of minus n we don't know the transforms of a power n u of minus n forms we just know you can see all shortcut basic transforms or uh, you can see uh, our previous classes we derived the z transforms for a power n u of n format or a power n u of minus n minus 1 format but we didn't derived for u of minus 1 signals minus n signals so that is very typical too so by using this property we can estimate the z transform of this type of signals easily so here how i am going to deal with this means so here you can see uh, we know the z transform of u of n a power n u of n we know u of n so this is i am considering like x of n 
I'm considering let x of n is equal into a power n u of n or 2 power n u of n. You just consider 2 power n u of n. So, for this we know the z transform as z by z minus 2. So, the z transform is z by z minus 2. The z transform of this x of n is x of z is equal to z by z minus 2. So, here I want to write this as I want to write this as x of um, x of uh, minus n if you if I want to write as x of minus n how I can write so here I want to write like this 1 by 2 whole power minus n u of minus n you can see here you just forget about this consideration also the given problem is to find out the z transform of 2 power n u of minus n we do not know the z transform of the signals which are having u of minus n that is very typical to find out. So, you are getting sometimes infinity when u of minus n is there but here we can easily find out the z transform of this type of signals by using time reversal property how that is. So, we need to change everything in minus n form here I am having plus n. So, I can write 1 by 2 that means 2 inverse whole power minus n is 2 power n only. So, that is why I am writing 1 by 2 whole power minus n u of minus n. Here I am considering let x of n is equal to 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. I am considering this as my x of n. Why? Because if I considered x of minus n in the next step, I am going to get the same. So, that means in place of n if you substituted minus n then 1 by 2 whole power minus n u of minus n that means you are going to get the same. So, that is why in this step I am going to consider x of n is equal to 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. So, now we know the z transform of x of n z transform of x of n equal to x of z is equal to z by z minus a the z transform of a power n u of n signals you know the z transform of a power n u of n is z by z minus a in the place of a I am having 1 by 2 z by z minus a means z minus 1 by 2 this is the z transform. So, similarly if x of n is having x of z I am applying this property observe clearly. So, if x of n is having x of z if x of n having x of z then what is the z transform of x of minus n. So, then x of z transform of x of minus n. So, x of minus n is equal to x of z inverse. So, this is our x of z. If you want z transform of x of minus n that means if you want z transform of this signal you need to place z inverse in place of z in x of z. So, in x of z in place of z you need to replace z inverse. So, that means the z transform of this signal is equal to z inverse by z inverse minus 1 by 2. So, that means in terms of z 1 by z by 1 by z minus 1 by 2. Then this is equal to so here uh, 1 by 2 z 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z. So, this is the z transform of your signal. So, here you can see uh, for example, if you are having any confusion you can write like this also. So, you can write like this to this I am writing like this. So, you are getting the same. So, 1 by z I am cross multiplying these two 2 minus z by 2 z z z will cancel 2 by 2 minus z this is also called as z transform. Previously I written 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z if you cross multiply the 2 you are going to get this same. So, 2 by 2 minus z will be the z transform of the signal 1 by 2 whole power minus n u of minus n how simple this is. If you want to calculate that by using the transform formula you need to substitute that signal you need to change the limits and you need to apply the formula of a power n like 1 by 1 minus a what we done for previous problems that everything we need to do here. But if you know one thing one formula 
we already derived this formula for z transform if you are having this single formula in your hand by using reversal property by applying that you can get so many solutions of z transform coming to roc how roc will change so here itself i want to discuss roc so this is what is the roc of x of n means here the pole is equivalent to 1 by 2 mod z is equivalent to i want to write here so for this i am writing here mod z is 1 by 2 how i will get mod z value as 1 by 2 when i equated this denominator to 0 i will get the poles of that transfer function so here mod z is equivalent to 1 by 2 so whether i need to consider greater than or less than that is dependent upon the signal itself so from where i got this transform means from this signal i got this transform so in this signal you just observe that is having purely right sided signal purely positive sided signal so whatever the roc we need to consider that will be like this mod z greater than 1 by 2 that is the roc of this x of n now coming to the roc of x of minus n here also we need to equate this denominator to 0 then you are getting mod z as 2 whether we need to take less than or greater than again that is dependent upon x of minus n signal that means this signal in this signal you can observe a left sided signal purely negative sided or left sided signal when you saw left sided signal we already discussed the properties of roc of z transform so if the signal is left sided signal and roc contains mod z is equivalent to r circle then the roc must be mod z less than 2 so here the region of convergence of this left sided sequence is roc is mod z less than 2 so this is about roc of x of n and x of minus n but if you want for example if they are asking what is the roc of this x of minus n in exams they will ask like this also what is the roc of 1 by 2 whole uh, 2 power n u of minus n what is the region of convergence of 2 power n u of minus n first of all we don't know the transform whenever u of minus n sequence is there so you need to get time reversal property when u of minus n type of sequences are asked for z transform and by that you can get the z transform if once z transform is came that that is very easy to find out the region of convergence of that signal so after getting z transform of that sequence you are going to note the region of convergence of the signal so here you can see the signal the region of convergence is less than why because so in negative sided signal we are having u of minus n because of that u of minus n we are having less than here so this is about time reversal property and different application related problems related to time reversal property in z transform